How to be financially independent in United Kingdom. Financial independence is something that we all should strive for. When you are financially independent, you can do anything that you want because you have the funds to support your lifestyle. You can become financially independent in the UK by following eight simple steps. Number one, learn how to use credit. The money charity reported that personal debt in the UK was more than £54,000 per household. With personal debt levels increasing, it has become even more important to learn how to use credit correctly. The first thing you need to do is look at your lifestyle and see if you can afford to borrow. Signs that you can borrow money include when you have a stable full-time job that even if you borrow money, you can still pay it off and have money to live on. A sign that you are not ready to borrow is if you are struggling to get a steady monthly income every month so that you can live. Number 2. Save money. Saving money is one way that you can instantly change your situation. Mexican financier Carlos Slim Helu said the sooner people start saving and investing money, the better off they will be, according to Mint.com. It is absolutely critical to save money if you cannot invest as much as you would like. Saving money will make things easier for you because you will have a source of cash that you can put towards other things, for example. Save as much as you can. It can be as little as 5% of your monthly income to 20% of your income, depending on what is feasible for you right now. Number 3. Have an emergency fund. Emergency funds are always mentioned by personal finance experts, but it can be really hard to get them sorted out. You need a plan if you want to build an emergency fund that will help you. If you are single, you can have a simple emergency fund that is worth two months, just in case you lose your job. If you are married or you have a partner and children, you should consider an emergency fund to include your dependents. Number 4. Don't ask friends or family for money. It can be tempting to resist asking friends or family for money. They love you and they have an emotional reaction to you. The last thing they want is to see you in a state of distress which is why most will say yes to your financial help. If you ask friends or family for money, make sure that you can pay them back. It is better if you don't ask them and look for other legitimate sources of credit such as payday loan lenders and consumer finance companies. Number 5. Learn about budgeting. Budgeting is something that you need to learn about if you are planning on becoming financially independent. Creating the perfect budget for you depends on many things such as what job you have, what your disposal income and whether you have any dependents. There are many free resources that you can use to create your budget. Just remember, when you create a budget, make sure that you stick to it to avoid any financial problems later. Number 6. Manage your shopping. Shopping is seen as a pastime and something that we Brits love to do. If you are a shopaholic, you need to get a hold of your spending. If you love buying clothes, put yourself on a clothing ban where you don't spend money on clothes for anything from one to three months. Whether your poison is clothing, jewelry or DIY products, you need to keep your shopping palm shine in check. As long as you manage how often you buy things, you can easily manage your finances and become financially independent. Number 7. Make financial goals. You should not work on your personal finances without goals and targets. Each goal that you have should have a deadline. Whether you want to save £500 or if you want to save cash in order to go abroad, you need to have strict financial goals that you stay on top of. Don't copy someone else's personal financial goals. Think about what you want. An idea of how to do this is buy a notebook and write down all of your financial goals and see how long it will take you to achieve them. You can divide the goals into chunks of time from one month, two months, three months and six months. Number 8. Decide when or if you want to get a mortgage. Getting on the property ladder is going to be one of the biggest decisions that you will ever make. Do you want to buy your own personal home or do you want to do buy to let? Whatever decision you make, you will need to decide how much you can put towards a mortgage. The benefits of owning your own house is that you will not be putting any money towards rent. The money you would spend in rent you can put towards saving for other goals. A downside of getting a mortgage is that it locks you into a property in a specific location.
So these were some tips on how you can achieve financial independence in the UK. We hope you will start implementing all these tips as soon as you finish this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more financial tips.